Last Friday, after months of threats and temper tantrums, our infant-in-chief did what Speaker Pelosi called a power grab by a disappointed president who has gone outside the bounds of the law to try to get what he failed to achieve in the constitutional legislative process and declared a national emergency in order to get his border wall. Since then, Democrats and Republicans alike have condemned this action and are working to force a vote on a resolution of disapproval to block the emergency declaration and, according to the Associated Press, are expected to file the resolution to the House on Friday. In addition, at least 16 states have filed lawsuits challenging Trump's declaration. Today, Republican Senator Susan Collins came forward with a statement saying that she would support a resolution to block Trump's border wall declaration. While speaking to reporters, Collins said that if it's a clean disapproval resolution, I will support it. Dot several other Republican senators have voiced their concerns over Trump's declaration. Among them, Senator Lisa Murkowski, who said she didn't think that this is a matter that should be declared a national emergency. Dot Senator Lamar Alexander, R. Tennessee, also made a statement saying that Trump's decision was unwise because it sets a precedent for future presidents to use the same tactic to get what they want. Alexander said that it is inconsistent with the U.S. Constitution because, after the American Revolution against a king, our founders chose not to create a chief executive with the power to tax the people and spend their money any way he chooses. The Constitution gives that authority exclusively to a Congress elected by the people. Senator Collins said in a separate statement that I would not be at all surprised if the courts find that the president's action is contrary to the separation of powers. I don't think under the Constitution that he can unilaterally decide to move these funds, which were legally appropriated, from one project to another. Let's hope that she's right and that other Republicans, in addition to those mentioned above, come forward to support the House resolution 